Let's start at the top of the mat with our feet at sit bones apart. Spread the toes, lift the toes and then widely on the mat. Balance on all corners of the feet. Engage the thighs by pulling up on the kneecaps. Engage the mula banda. Mula banda is the pelvic floor, so slightly lift the pelvic floor up towards the lower uh, belly. Suck the lower belly in. This is called the Ujjayana Bandha. Keep the lower belly in throughout the whole practice. About a 20% engagement. Breathe into the rib cage and create space in between the discs with every inhalation. Bring the chin parallel to the floor. Roll the shoulder blades up and down the back and activate through the fingertips. Bring the tip of the tongue towards the upper palate of the mouth and start engaging your victorious breath, Ujjayi breath. If you can hear your breath making a sound, that's good. If it's not happening today, don't worry about it, just keep on breathing. Even inhalation and even exhalation throughout the whole practice. Let's take one more breath here. Inhale, lengthen. Inhale, bring the arms over the head. Exhale, fold forward from the hips. Bend the knees and drop the head in towards the legs. Inhale, look up, straighten the knees, place your hands on the shins. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat and step both feet back. High plank, inhale here. Exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows slowly, touch the belly all the way to the floor. Hey, lift the chest, keep the elbows bent. Exhale, transition through tabletop and then to downward facing dog. Bring the feet slightly. Bend the knees if your hamstrings are tight or if you feel you're rounding the back. Look in between the knees. Keep on pulling up on the kneecap and, and the thighs. The spine is long. Press through the inner palms. One more breath here. Look forward, inhale, step to the front of the mat, as many steps as you need and look halfway up. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees a lot. Inhale, come all the way up, <clears throat> reach the arms up. Exhale, release by Release the hands by your thighs to Tamastitihi. Inhale, bring the arms up, look up, exhale, fold forward, draw the head in, bend the knees. Inhale, look up, straighten the knees and the spine, exhale, step both feet back. Inhale here, exhale, bend the knees. Bend the elbows, touch the chest and the belly in the same time on the floor. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, tabletop, push the hips up and back, downward facing dog, bring the feet slightly in. Again, bend the knees, look in between the knees, spine is nice and long, rub the triceps back. Arms are extended, press through the inner palms. One more breath. Look forward, inhale, step to the front of the mat, extend the spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, reach your arms up, extend, exhale. Hands by your thighs to him. Two more. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, draw the head in. 
inhale look up extend the spine and the knees exhale step both feet back to high plank extra breath here exhale bend the knees bend the elbows bring the hands slightly back by your rib cage press into the arms and lift the chest lift the heart inhale exhale maybe put the knees on the floor and push the hips up and back to your downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana spread the toes bend the knees and focus on the breath keep your gaze steady on one point and lengthen the inhalation and deep on the exhalation look forward inhale step to the front of the mat extend your spine exhale fold from the hips inhale come all the way up reach your arms up exhale release the hands by your thighs to tadasana inhale bring the arms up maybe press the palms exhale fold forward maybe pull yourself slightly in inhale look up extend your spine extend the knees exhale step both feet back inhale high plank exhale bend the elbows slowly and go all the way to the mat take the hands back inhale lift the chest align the shoulders over the wrist lift the heart exhale roll on the toes send the hips up and back downward facing dog stay and breathe one two catch your breath three maybe send the heels slightly towards the floor four they don't have to touch five look forward inhale take as many steps as you need to arrive in between the hands with your feet exhale fold inhale come all the way up reach your arms up exhale samastitihi inhale bring the arms up maybe press the palms exhale bend the knees drop the head uttanasana inhale halfway up straight spine straight knees exhale step back to high plank inhale shoulders over the wrists either knees or no knees slowly lower all the way to the mat take the hands by the rib cage inhale to upward facing dog straight arms knees off the floor roll over the toes push the hips up and back downward facing set the feet that means bring the feet slightly inwards bend the knees breathe two press through the inner palms do not let all the weight go into the outside of your palm imagine that you want to bring the palms together towards the center of the mat maybe even lift the pinky fingers off the floor that should be about five breaths look to the front maybe jump take another step halfway up exhale bend the knees inhale come all the way up reach up maybe press the palms exhale return to samastitihi Surya Namaskara B, Sun Saltation B, will take three rounds. Bend the knees, touch the floor. Inhale, reach the arms up. Utkatasana. Exhale, fold forward. Utanasana. Inhale, halfway up. Extend your spine. Exhale. Maybe jump. Maybe two times. Come to high plank exhale lower slowly all the way down knees or no knees your choice inhale upward facing dog 
press again into the inner palms, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Bring the right foot in between the hands, ground the back foot down at 45 degrees. Inhale, arms up, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, step back. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, straight arms. Exhale, roll over the toes, hips up and back. Bring the left foot in between the hands, ground the back foot down. The right foot is facing two o'clock. Inhale, bend the front knee, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands down, step back. Extra breath. Exhale, bend the elbows, touch the mat. Inhale, lift the heart, shoulders back. Roll over the toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. One. Catch your breath. Two. We're slowly building more fire, warming up the body with the sun salutations B. Three. And four, five. Look forward, either step or jump. Jump, maybe take a step, halfway up, exhale, fold, maybe pull the torso in. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms, look up, exhale, return to Samastitihi. Touch the floor. Inhale, bring the arms up, bend the knees. Exhale, fold, drop the head. Inhale, lift the head, straight spine, straight knees. Either step or jump back. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, bend the elbows, slowly touch the mat. Take the hands back, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward. If the foot doesn't come in between the hands, grab the calf and step the foot to the front of the mat. The back foot can stay like this. So we're coming into high lunge instead of warrior one. Again, if there's no space here, lift the right hand, take the foot back and then plant the hand on the floor. Let's go to downward facing dog. Let's keep the in between vinyasa. Left foot forward, grab it, bring it in between the hands. Back foot stays like this. Bend the front knee a lot. Inhale, high lunge. Right hand down, step the left leg back, place the left hand on the mat. High plank, inhale, exhale, bend the elbows. Lift the heart. Align shoulders over the wrists, maybe use the core to send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. You can also take a child's pose if you feel like you're out of breath, which means knees on the floor, toes together, top of the head on the floor. Kind of comfortable here. <laughs> Three. Four, let's meet in downward facing dog. Five, look forward, either step or jump. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bend the knees a lot. Inhale, bend the knees more. Bring the arms up. Exhale, return to Tadasana. Last one. Inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms over the head tailbone dropped. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway up. Prepare. Exhale, either step or jump back to high plank. Inhale here, shift the weight forward. Exhale, bend the elbows. You can put the knees on the floor. Inhale, lift the chest, press through the inner palms. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Let's take another modification here. Extra breath as you inhale. Lift the right leg off the floor. Exhale. Step it forward nice and lightly. Inhale, arms up. High lunge. Exhale. Step the right leg back. Let's keep the vinyasa. Left leg up as you inhale. Exhale. Step the foot forward. Inhale, arms over the head. High lunge. Exhale. Step back. Plant the left hand on the floor. Inhale here. Exhale. Bend the elbows. Inhale. Lift the chest. Shoulders back. Exhale. Downward facing dog. You can take child pose. One. Catch your breath. And two. And three, steady gaze, steady mind, four, five, look forward, inhale, step or jump, halfway up, lift the heart, exhale, fold, inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms over the head, maybe press the palms, exhale, return to Samastitihi. One breath here. Padangustasana. Grab your strap and place it under your feet. Pull on the strap. Inhale halfway up. Extend your spine. Exhale. Bend the elbows out to the side. Drop the head in. If you feel you're rounding the back here, Look more forward, balance on all corners of the feet, spread the toes just like in Samastitihi, pull up on the kneecaps, pull up on the thighs and engage the Mula Bandha and the Udhyana Bandha. Inhale halfway up, exhale here, go slightly deeper, inhale halfway up, extend the spine again. Exhale, fold the torso over the legs. Pull slightly on the strap. As you bring the weight into the toes, more weight into the toes rather than the heels. Find a steady gaze for your eyes. Stay and breathe. The most important element of the pose here is that the spine is Nice and elongated. The knees can also be bent here. If the knees are bent, touch the belly to your thighs and the chest to the knees. Inhale, look up. Exhale, place the hands on your hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, bring the feet together. Utita Trikonasana. Take the... Utita Trikonasana. Grab the block in your right hand. Inhale, bring the feet parallel to each other and the arms leveled. Exhale, turn the right foot out to 90 degrees. Turn the left foot slightly in. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, place the block outside of your foot and under your shoulder. Press onto the palm, press into the block, lift the upper arm high. Look at your upper palm if that's okay for your balance, otherwise just look forward. You want to open the hips here and keep the spine as much as you can over the front leg. Try not to stick the tailbone out, the pelvis out, rather push the hips forward. And imagine that the table wants to go towards the back heel. On your last exhalation, look down, find the balance. Inhale, come all the way up, grab the block. Exhale, change sides. Give the block to your left hand. Inhale here. Exhale, place the block outside of your left leg and under your shoulder. Press into the block 
extend the right arm up or you can use the right palm to open your hip. Look forward or look up. There's a tendency here to put more weight into the outside edge of the front foot. Make sure that the weight is on all corners of the feet and especially on the inside arch. On the last exhalation, look down, find the balance, maybe bend the knee, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, change side, square the feet to the back of the mat, maybe take the right foot more out, use your hands to square the hips, inhale, lift the left arm up, exhale, go forward, twist to the right, place the block outside, of the right foot, extend the right arm up. Again, press on the inside arch of the front foot, press into the block and open the chest. Look down at the block, maybe look at your foot to see if that the inner arch is grounded. Maybe look to your right. Breathe. Revolved triangle, parivrita, Trikonasana. On the last exhalation, look down, find the balance, bend the knee, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, change sides. Open the feet on two parallel tracks, like train tracks. Inhale, right arm up, lengthen here, exhale, go forward, forward, and then down. Place the block outside of your foot. The block has three heights, one, two, three. Wherever you are, make sure that your hand has full contact with the block and you can really press into the block. Look to the left or look up at your palm if that's okay for the balance. Breathe. Keep on twisting and keep on breathing. On the last exhalation, look down, find the balance, maybe bend the knee, inhale, come all the way up, feet parallel, arms parallel to the floor, exhale, return to Samastitihi. Utita Parjvakonasana. Inhale, take a bigger step to the long edge of the mat, feet parallel, exhale, turn the left foot slightly in, turn the right foot out. Inhale, lift the chest, Exhale, bend deeply into the front knee, place the block outside of the foot. Either this height or this height. Align the knee over the ankle, left arm either towards the sky or over the ear. Look at the palm if that's okay for the balance, otherwise look forward. Again, open the hip. Press into the right hand, don't collapse into the right hand. Use the right hand as a lever to create length. Beautiful lateral body stretch. Look down, inhale, come all the way up. Press into the heel to come up. Exhale, change sides. Inhale here, exhale, bend the knee. Place the uh, block outside of the foot, extend the right arm up. The more back you take this hand, the more you might feel the stretch in the right side of the torso. So play with this hand. Either look at your palm or look forward. Ground the outside edge of the back foot. Ground the inside arch of the front foot and open the hips. Look down at your foot. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, face the back of the mat and put the back knee on the floor. Lift the uh, block to the side. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, twist to the right. Hook your elbow, tricep or shoulder 
outside of your right knee. Bring both hands in Namaste position. Either stay here and press the upper palm into the lower palm or if you want to add more balance into the asana, straighten the back leg. Two, open the chest, three, four, five. Look down, inhale, come up, exhale, chain side, put the right knee on the mat, inhale, right arm up, exhale, twist to the left, hands into Namaste, one, two, bend deeply into the front knee, three, extend the back leg, pull the kneecap, pull the thigh, four, five, come up, inhale, arms parallel, exhale, return to the top of the mat, find your breath, Prasarita Padottanasana, four postures, Big step, feet parallel or maybe toes slightly in. Inhale, arms parallel to the floor. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Bring the fingertips either in line with the toes or even forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. So keep the spine straight. You can bend the knees here. Even if the legs are straight, maintain a straight spine. So maybe if you feel you're rounding the back here, just look more forward. The gaze always fixes the spine. The gaze corrects the spine. One more breath. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come up, strong legs, exhale, hands on your thighs. B position, inhale, arms parallel, exhale, hands to hips, take the elbows back, inhale, look up, exhale, fold forward. Imagine here that you want to take the elbows together as much as that is possible. The weight is on all corners of the feet. There's a tendency to lean back here on the heels and to lift the toes. Ground the toes and ground the heels. The spine is nice and long. The breath is smooth. When you're ready, press into the heels. Come up, exhale. C position. Let's use a strap for C. Take the strap in one hand. Inhale, arms parallel. Exhale, grab a hold of your strap. Inhale, lift the chest. Pull the strap away from the pelvis. Exhale, fold forward. Again, the, bring the weight on all corners of the feet. Don't let the feet open more wide than they already are. And let gravity open your shoulders and pull your shoulder towards the floor. When you're ready, press into the heels. Use the inhalation to come back up. Exhale, hands on your thighs. D position, inhale, arms parallel, exhale, hands on your hips, inhale, le lengthen, exhale, fold from the hips, grab your big toes or grab your ankle. If your hamstrings are uh, kind of tight, maybe grab the ankles. One more breath here, look up and lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Keep the spine nice and long. Keep the legs strong and engaged. Even inhalation, even exhalation. So if you're breathing in for three, 
you're breathing out for three. One more breath. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, return to Samastitihi. Catch your breath. Parshvottanasana. Inhale, bring the arms parallel to the floor. Exhale, grab the elbows behind the back. Take a step to the back of the mat and again, place your feet like they were on two train tracks. Push the right hip back. Inhale, lift the heart. Widen the rib cage. Exhale, maintain that length as you fold in the direction of the right leg. Press to the inside arch of the front foot. Look at your toe. Pull up on the kneecap. Engage your thigh. Suck the belly in and maintain the length in the upper torso. Breathe. Inhale, come up. Exhale, change sides. Step the right leg more to the right. Square the hips. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. So we, we fold in the direction of the left leg, not in the center. Imagine that in the final posture, you want to touch the belly on the thigh, chest on the knee, and chin over the shin. Look at your big toe and suck the belly in to create length. One more breath. Inhale, come up, maybe bend the knee. Exhale, feet parallel and return to the top of the mat. Catch your breath in Samastitihi. Realign. Utita Hasta Padangustasana. Grab your strap. And place the strap around the right foot. Hold the strap only with your right hand. Place the left hand on your hip. Inhale, lift the heart. Make sure that the knee is facing up and not out. Exhale, straighten the leg out in front of you. Pull the right shoulder back. Engage Udiana Banda. Suck the lower belly in. Left hand is active here, is helping me and is helping me to pull the lower belly in. Look at your big toe and breathe. Inhale here. Exhale, open the leg to the right. Look to the left if you can, otherwise keep on looking forward. One, two, both legs are straight. Three, torso is like in Samastiti Hi. Four, five. Inhale, bring the leg to the center. Let go of the strap. Lift the leg and maybe fold over the leg. Inhale, come up. Exhale, point the toes. One, leg is straight. Two, the leg can also be bent. Three, four, five. <laughs> Left side, bring the weight into the right leg and place the strap on the left inner arch. Bring the hand on the inside and grab the strap. Right hand on your hip. Inhale here, lift the chest, exhale, straighten your left leg forward. One, two, the drishti, the gaze is at the toe, three, balance on the right leg, four, five. Inhale here, exhale, open the leg to the left, look to the right if you can, smile if you can. Inhale, bring the leg to the center, exhale, grab the calf, 
and lift the leg as much as you can. Just one breath there. Inhale, come up, hands to hips, exhale. One, two, lift the leg as much as you can. Three, four, four and a half, and five. <laughs> Catch your breath. Ardha Bada Padmottanasana. So this posture requires a half lotus, which is a yellow flashlight for the knee. We're going to modify this posture, but in the same time, prepare for the posture. We're gonna prepare by opening the hip in a figure four position. So bring the weight into the left leg, lift the right knee toward the chest and open the hip. Flex the foot and place your right leg over the left ankle. Bring the hands to the heart. Option one, stay here and slowly push the knee back towards the back of the mat. Or option two, if you add, if you want to add in more strength, for the left leg to work more, bend the left leg too. One, find a steady drishti point, three, four. So the right knee, wherever it is, is moving down towards the floor. You might feel it in the right outer hip. Inhale, come up, exhale, change. Place the right leg on the floor. Bring the weight into the right leg, lift the left knee towards the chest, open the hip, place the left leg on top of the right thigh. Inhale, exhale, let's bend the right knee, flex the left foot, press the palms and breathe. The more you breathe, the more the muscles relax. Inhale, come up, exhale, return to Samastitihi. One breath here to realign. Inhale, bring the arms up, exhale, fold forward, draw the head in towards the legs. Inhale, look up, straighten the spine, exhale, plant the hands, step both feet back. Inhale, high plank, exhale, bend the elbow slowly. Try to touch the belly and the chest in the same time on the mat. Inhale, lift the heart, align the shoulders over the wrists, exhale, roll over the feet, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look forward, bend the knees, inhale, jump, bring the arms over the head, Feet can be at seat bones apart or feet together. If the feet are together, squeeze the knees one into another and drop the tailbone down towards the heels. Arms over the ears, stay and breathe. So we're grounding and we're lengthening in the same time. Two opposite directions. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, fold, maybe bend the knees here. Inhale, look up, extend the spine. Exhale, step back. High plank, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, go down slowly with control to build strength. Upward facing dog, lift the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring the right foot forward in between the hands. Ground the back foot at 45 degrees. Maybe bring the right leg more to the right. This helps you to square the hips to the front. Inhale, arms up. Warrior one. One. Bend the front knee deeply. Two. Align the knee over the ankle. Three. Push the right hip back. Left hip forward. Engage through the left glute four, five, maybe 
bend some more inhale straighten the leg exhale chain side shift the left leg to the left maybe take the right leg to the right bend the knee one two shorten the distance between the belly button and the sternum imagine you want to round the back a little bit four five open the hips to the long edge of the mat and align your heel with the middle of the back foot arms are parallel with the floor right hip is pushing back left knee is over the ankle look at your middle finger and breathe inhale straighten the front leg exhale chain side check your foundation align your front heel with the middle of the back foot one if the hands are tired place them on the hips two three four five hands parallel to the floor step the right leg back high plank inhale exhale bend the elbows straighten the arms lift the heart downward facing dog catch your breath look forward step both feet to the front extend your legs let's move on to the finishing postures of the uh, ashtanga vinyasa yoga bring the feet closer to you urdhva danurasana modified hands next to your ears or slightly back bring the elbows in inhale lift the pelvis lift the head and place the top of the head on the floor hands are on the floor top of the head on the floor but most of the weight is on the hands keep the elbows Go, oh, moving inwards one more breath from here lift the head slightly off the floor one put the head down two lift the head put it on the floor three head down <clears throat> push head down push five lift the head chin in head down upper spine mid spine and lower back on the floor <clears throat> bring the knees towards the chest a few breaths here cross one leg on top of the other use the breath to come up straighten the legs inhale lift the heart exhale fold slowly over the legs bend the knees maybe grab the strap place it around the feet counter posture for Urdhva Danurasana inhale head up exhale straighten the legs and lay down slowly take the legs over the head support your back with your hands and straighten the legs slowly to the sky if this is challenging keep the knees bent like so five breaths here one two press into the upper arms three look at the belly button four five straighten the legs back and take them over the head if the feet don't touch the floor stay here and support your spine with your hands one two 
three, four, five. Strong hand, press into the back of the head and keep the chin away from the sternum. Bend the knees, bring the knees towards the ears. One, two, three. Bring the feet towards the floor. They don't have to touch. Keep on supporting your spine. Bring the legs together and towards the sky. Bend the knees again and cross one shin on top of the other. Keep on supporting your spine. Press into the upper arms and keep the chin away from the sternum. Bring the knees together and towards the ears with the legs crossed. Keep on supporting the spine. Slowly unroll your spine, vertebra by vertebra, upper back, mid back, lower back, sacrum on the floor. Extend your legs for Matsyasana. Place the hands under your buttocks. Press the elbows into the mat. Lift the chest, head back. Place the head on the floor. Matsyasana. Lift the chest. One, two, three, point the feet, five, six, seven, look nose, Eight. Lift the feet off the floor. Bend the knees first. Bend the knees and lift the feet from the floor. Bring the shins parallel to the floor. Bring the palms together. One. Lift the chest. Two. Three. Four. If you can straighten the legs, straighten the legs. Maybe one leg. Six. Seven, eight. Place the feet on the floor, place the hands under the buttocks, lift the head, bring the chin in, put the head down. One breath here, bring the knees to the chest, cross and inhale, come up. Exit, step back and bend the elbows. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Place the knees on the floor. Sit on your heels. Grab your um, upper arms and bring the hands close to the knees. Interlace your hands for Shishasana, headstand, and place the top of the head into your palms and on the floor. So top of the head on the floor, back of the head into the palms. We're gonna take a preparation, straighten the legs and walk the legs in. If the hamstrings are stiff, bend the knees. Maybe stay here. Option one, stay here, push the hands into the floor. Maybe bring one heel over the buttocks. Maybe you extend the leg which is on the floor and maybe you try to lift, lift, lift the leg of the floor. Maybe you can come here. One, if this is too much, stay here. Two, play with this leg. Three. Two more breaths. Come only on the toes. Use the leg which is on the floor and bring the weight only on the toes and the hips over the shoulders, only on the big toe and child's pose. Relax. Top of the head on the floor, take the hands back. Mm. 
and breathe. Come to, uh, come to high plank, extend the arms, extend the legs, inhale here, exhale, bend the elbows, upward facing, lift the heart, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. We're moving on to breathing sequence. Look forward, step, slide the feet. Cross-legged position to modify the lotus. Yoga Mudrasana, grab the elbows, grab the upper arms behind the back. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold forward. Top of the head towards the floor. Keep the eyes open. Look towards the tip of the nose. Long inhalation, long exhalation. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bring the hands into chin mudra, thumb and index finger together. Extend the elbows, extend the remaining three fingers, bring the chin slightly in. Stay and breathe. Long, deep inhalations, long, deep exhalations. Lengthen the breath and quiet down the mind. Utplutihi or Tolasana, hands uh, forward of the hips, shift forward and lift the hips only. Put, lift the feet on the floor, breathe. One, two, three, four, Five strong hands, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop the pelvis, inhale, lift the pelvis, step back, exhale lower to the floor, inhale, lift the heart, exhale, downward facing dog. Look to the front, step and lay down on your back for Shavasana, relaxation pose. Relaxation pose is the only pose which is not led, is not verbally instructed by the teacher. So. Find a comfortable position, let the feet drop where they're comfortable, to the right and to the left. Externally rotate your shoulders, close the eyes, let go of the bandhas, breathe into the belly, namaste. Take as much time as you need for this pose. Stay for as long as you need. Don't skip the pose. Relax the breath. 
relax the mind.